And Governor Tate Reeves was pressed on the rise in case numbers and record hospitalizations, but is sticking with his plan in ordering mandates on a county by county basis. And tonight, more than a dozen more are on the list. 12 News Alex Love tells us what's in this new executive order. Alex? When we stick to this approach of signaling out individual counties, they either saw over 200 new cases in the past two weeks or have over 500 infections per capita. Now, as of this afternoon, there are in total 54 counties across Mississippi who are on the list. Some of the new ones who have been added across our viewing area include Adams, Franklin, Amit, Scott, and Jefferson County, meaning if you go out there and you can't always socially distance, you must wear a mask. It's been acknowledged hospitals are stable with ICU you at capacity, but Dr. Dobbs reported 12 across the state have zero ICU beds available, plus over a thousand patients with COVID-19 have checked in, which is a new record. A bird in Reeves attempted to shift from to other categories like those on ventilators, which aren't above their peaks, but still rising significantly. Mississippi is one of less than 10 states that can say that we are not at our all-time peak right now. Um, we're close, but we're not there yet. And in fact, most states are significantly higher in many instances, two and three and four times the peak of where they found themselves at any time during the pandemic. The vaccine is on the horizon for coming to Mississippi later this month, and today the CDC voted overwhelmingly to have the first shipment go to health care workers and those who are really vulnerable in long-term care facilities. Live outside the Capitol in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.